This is the beginning. Many of man's most difficult conceptual challenges originate here. A design starts with an idea and develops into a new arrangement of lines and shapes. But there the process has only begun. For now the designer must translate his concept into a working set of instructions so that men and... The end product is often a remarkably complex result of the cooperation of hundreds of individuals. The role of the designer varies from industry to industry, but the essence of designing remains the same, carrying an idea through from initial concept to evaluation of the final product. Often he is called upon to revise, edit, update, to achieve greater design efficiencies and higher productivity yields. The design function grows more and more complex. The amount of detail in a single layout can be staggering and may require many months and thousands of dollars to complete. Applicon was founded to bring the power of the computer to bear on this increasingly costly process. Applicon's design assistant is a fully interactive graphical system created to speed the entire design cycle to minimize delay between idea and application. We are using a printed circuit board to illustrate how Applicon revolutionizes the design function. The designer is converting his pencil sketch to the computer database on an Applicon digitizer. He records only the corners and endpoints as the graphic details have been predefined and will be called up later automatically. The digitizer offers a quick way to convert your existing drawings for easier handling on the design assistant. If no drawing exists, you would probably choose to make a freehand sketch directly into the design assistant computer. We'll see how this important feature works later on. Input might also come from another computer program, such as one for design analysis. The ability of Applicon's system to accept information in a variety of ways from a variety of sources allows great flexibility in its use. The design assistant comes ready to use. Its computer is completely programmed to carry out the system's many functions. A tape cassette transfers graphical data to the computer, which handles highly complex drawings with ease. Later, the designer reverses the process, taking the completed drawing with him. A simple command given through the keyboard or with a handheld stylus calls up our digitized sketch from the computer's memory and displays it now with the full richness of the graphic elements. The screen is like a window on a drafting table. We can position the window anywhere over the table, as well as zoom in for fine detail, or zoom out for the overview. <laughs> Using the electronic stylus, a designer can create new drawings directly. The interactive system fosters a dynamic communication between man and machine. As you draw, the system straightens lines, squares corners, and provides a variable grid and scale to work with. It is tolerant, understanding our commands even when we lapse into a scrawl. In electronic circuit design, the designer must think in three dimensions. That is, his drawings encompass several levels, like floors in a building. The Applicon system accepts the challenge with ease and works with from 1 to 16 levels at a time, such as in this integrated circuit example. Cross-hatching and magnifying elements of the drawing on different levels enables rapid identification of errors. You control over 100 powerful editing commands that permit you to add, 
Move. Flip. Rotate. Stretch. Step and repeat. And delete. You can teach the design assistant your own shorthand symbols or sequences of frequently used commands. This rich variety of editorial commands greatly speeds trying out different layout possibilities and is one of the features of this system that has saved its users hundreds of costly man hours. Output data is readily available to produce artwork automatically and control manufacturing processes. The CalComp and Gerber plotters shown here provide quick verification of the data. A variety of equipment may be harnessed to the system and adding on equipment at a later date is both easy and economical. Rework speed and accuracy are improved enormously over manual methods eliminating a lot of the drudgery of drafting. It is when reworking a drawing over and over on paper that a designer is most likely to make a costly and time-consuming error. With Applicon's system, he spends more time designing and less time drawing, encouraging greater productivity by enabling him to try out more creative approaches in a given amount of time. The output data is automatically updated during the rework so that new documentation is quickly available. The design assistant may also be used to feed an artwork generator, such as this Gerber model, which prepares a photo mask to guide the positioning of metallic circuits. In the fabrication process, a numerical control machine is used to drill holes in a circuit board. The design assistant prepares the data to drive such machines. Inspection of the assembled circuit board completes the manufacturing process. Applicon assists the entire design process from beginning to end, from initial concept to the preparation of output data, and the system will perform these tasks simultaneously. It enhances creativity by removing much of the drudgery from layout preparation. Its uses are many and diverse, even within a single company. The design process is growing more complex within every industry and institution. And with complexity comes soaring cost and increased delays in turnaround time. The design assistant answers this challenge with turnkey convenience and with a payout that can justify its purchase within a year's time. More have been installed than of any other comparable system. Tens of thousands of hours of customer use attest to Applicon's experience. The Applicon design assistant is not just a piece of hardware. It is a system that unifies the design process from start to finish. And it will be ready to go to work the day it's delivered.